Today, we've got some exciting updates about Samsung's highly anticipated One UI 7.0 beta update. If you've been eagerly waiting for this update like many of us, you might have noticed it's been delayed for quite a while. It was originally expected to launch at the end of July, but here we are in September and still no official release. But don't worry, it looks like we're finally getting close. So what happened with this delay? Well, after weeks of waiting, it seems Samsung has moved forward with the testing process, which is a great sign. More importantly, several of Samsung's key local subsidiaries like Samsung India and Samsung UK have now started testing the beta version of One UI 7.0. If you follow Samsung's typical rollout pattern, this kind of testing usually means the release is right around the corner. Let's talk a bit more about these tests. Samsung typically launches its beta updates in key regions like China, Germany, India, Poland, South Korea, the UK, and the USA. These countries have been part of the One UI 7.0 beta testing for weeks now. But what's really interesting is that Samsung has also expanded the testing to countries that don't normally participate in the beta program. This could mean Samsung is aiming for a broader global launch soon after the beta phase wraps up. So if you're in a country that hasn't seen beta releases before, there's a chance you could get access to the update earlier than usual. Now, if you're wondering why the One UI 7.0 beta took so long, one of the reasons is that Samsung has been busy focusing on the release of One UI 6.11. In fact, this update has already rolled out to several devices, including the get out of it. In terms of size, the One UI 6.11 update ranges from 2.5 to 3 gigabytes, depending on which device you're using. So make sure you have enough storage space available before hitting that download button. Now that the update is making its way to users globally, we can expect that Samsung will soon shift its full focus back to One UI 7.0. There's no denying that the delay in One UI 7.0 has been frustrating for many Samsung users. Besides the One UI 6.1 on release taking up Samsung's attention, part of the delay can be attributed to bugs in the One UI 7.0 beta. It's understandable that Samsung would want to fix these bugs before rolling out the update to users. After all, no one wants a buggy beta experience. But now that testing has moved to the next phase, we're hopeful that Samsung has addressed the major issues and is preparing for a smoother rollout. As we've seen with Samsung in the past, they usually stick to a structured release cycle. With testing now expanding to more countries, we expect the One UI 7.0 beta to be available very soon. And once the beta phase wraps up, it won't be long before the official release hits all eligible devices. For those who are already running One UI 6.11, you'll be able to enjoy some of the cool new features like Galaxy AI in the meantime. But if you're excited about One UI 7.0, the wait might soon be over. So what do you think about the One UI 7.0 bit update? Are you excited about the new features or do you think the delay has been a bit too long? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's it for today's update on Samsung's One UI 7.0. As always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech news and updates. See you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. 
China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, Looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.